just got done with work. I just wrapped a shoot and I'm driving home. Luckily the shoot was actually in San Diego, so I'm not like busy in LA. I'm so hot. I need to like turn the air on. So yesterday, um, I actually went to pick up my ring picked up a Cartier ring and I kind of took you guys with me like I wanted to film a little bit but I also wanted to film like an unboxing so you guys can kind of see it like I don't know if this is so shaky and wobbly but I don't know my, my car I'm getting a new car in June hopefully sooner than that I don't know this is this car is being leased right now so I have to like give it back or whatever but you know, this this car has definitely like treated me right and like in a time where I needed to go from A to B and the next car that I get, it's definitely gonna be like vlogging friendly and like this fucking truck is like trying to kill people. So I picked up my ring yesterday and I already like I oh, was like, where's my ring? Um it's on it's in my bag. I had to take it off for the shoot, but I have like the minis, the, the, um, they're basically like technically like wedding bands. So they're like much thinner and I have that one. Um, but I kind of wanted to get one that was, um, the thicker one, like the wider one. And, um, and I did this stack, which I'll show you guys, like you'll see it in the clips, but I, I tried on the stack that was so cute. And I was like this close to getting it. It would have required me to get another mini, but like, I don't need to be like spontaneous and reckless like that. It's already like so expensive buying these rings, but you know, th that's the one thing with me is like, I don't really mess with a ton of jewelry. Like you guys know, like I, I like hoops and gold stuff and like, I do enjoy them, but like the staple, like a lot of those are from brands that are more, um, you know they're good quality stuff that I wear but I wanted something that was like solid gold that I could keep for a long time and you know pass them down um like I have one from my grandma that she passed down to me and it's really old it's like when the love rings were first created and it just it needs I honestly should have brought it in yesterday to have it polished Filthy! I hope you guys can't hear that. You probably can, but it is what it is. Um, hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. So today I have a bunch of like clips to kind of compile together. Um, a few things that I figured I just could put into one vlog instead of doing like a bunch of separate ones. Um, as you can tell, I'm also getting ready. Um, I'm actually going up to LA today. I have work tomorrow. Um, I have a shoot and whenever I have a shoot, I like to like get my, um, hair like did I like get it all nice so that whenever I go to the shoot it's just like easier to manage and it's just much quicker plus I'm really like particular about how my hair looks I don't know and now I'm gonna do some makeup because when I get to LA today I have to basically like hit the ground running with some work stuff and um, I wanted to film with you guys as well today and also I have like a very exciting unboxing and just sort of talking to you guys about some things that are going to be happening in today's vlog. So just a lot of stuff going on. But um, my skin's been looking pretty good lately which is like really shocking because um, I don't know if, if you guys follow me on my stories you know that I had like a major reaction to one of these Summer Friday products, which is really unfortunate because I am still a really big fan of Summer Fridays. I still like use their products. There's just one product that I'm like scared to like try again, even though um, a lot of you have said that you've reacted the same way. And um, honestly, I don't have reactive skin. I would not consider my skin sensitive in any way. But um, I had cleansed my skin with a specific cleanser. It's a gentle cleanser that I really like, but it's in my shower. Um, it's one I kind of keep in my shower at all times. There's a fucking gnat. 
is why I can't have my windows open. Like I had washed my face with that, got out of the shower, and then applied this Summer Friday product on, and my skin just like immediately like just started to burn. My skin had just like flared up huge like it looked like a sunburn so i definitely think the summer fridays product reacted probably to the cleanser but i'm honestly too scared to like try it again it was the summer fridays soft touch or i, I forget what it's called it was like the chemical exfoliant anyway enough with me rambling i wanted to do my makeup with you guys and try to do this quickly because i kind of have to get on the road pretty soon i have a feeling i'm gonna be stuck in like major traffic and i have a dinner reservation at bestia which is like one of my favorite um restaurants in la i'm actually going to try using this concealer this is the hourglass vanish concealer i have mine in the shade topaz as you can see it's like really peachy like kind of looks like um a corrector so i'm just gonna apply this like right to where i have like darkness because as you can see it's like clearly not my color but if i just do this lightly i feel like i might be able to actually correct my dark circles um lip stuff sophie would you quit it you're gonna like ruin my house should have known i'm like oh my god she's such an easy dog i'm like yeah they're easy when they're like 10 weeks old anyway um so i'm just gonna apply this on i have i've never used AC is on. <laughs> I just need to do this. Okay, this is like clearly not my color. Like if I went out like this, some would think I'm a psychopath. So I'm gonna just take my Glossier Stretch Concealer and see if I can just blend, like brighten up on top. Oh, it's really working. Um, Yeah, I just noticed whenever I go in straight with my concealer, it's just not enough. Like it still looks quite dark. So I think I'm at the point now where I need to use like some sort of corrector. Um, it's just the life I live now, unfortunately, but um, it just goes to show that I am getting older and I'm a mom. <laughs> I'm gonna take the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury number four. I usually use five all over my face um, if I'm doing like a light coverage kind of look, but um, this is like more of like a highlighting color as you can see. So I've just been kind of using this in place of my highlighter for my face. I still go in with like a powder highlight on my nose, but um, this just seems to work really well. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this, um, what is this, honey translucent powder. I don't use the regular translucent powder by Laura Mercier. I use the shade Honey because it's a little bit brightening. And I just take a little bit on the cap. And what I do is I just take my wet, my damp beauty blender and I just get a bunch on there and then I just press it onto the back of my hand. That way I'm not overdoing the powder and just setting right underneath my eyes and wherever I used concealer because, um, you know, I, I did use two different concealers and I feel like they're going to definitely crease underneath the eyes. So I'm just going to apply this. I don't know if I've posted it yet, but I have a tutorial on how I create um, using these products. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Sculpt, which is the clear brow gel that um, Jess created. And I just start to push the brows up like so. One thing I really love about this product is that even though it has like this white consistency, like once you start to brush out your brows, the product becomes clear. So you don't have to worry about there being any kind of like pilling or see like how that is like that. So once you start to brush it out, it goes away. So on the other end of this, there is a dual ended brush. I like to use the um, more dense side. There's like a more comb side But I like to use this one the most and um, I just like to kind of set them in place first, which is which is how 
um, Jess sort of recommends to start off and I've always liked applying the brow gel on first because um, it really gives you the idea of the shape of your brows whereas when you start to fill them in first you kind of don't realize until after you've set them how your brow shape is going to be so now I can like really see where I need to fill in where I need to like tone it down like I don't want to look like Count Olaf so I'm gonna sort of tone it down just a little bit um I'm gonna just use this product this is the brow flick in the shade black this I have to be really delicate with and basically this is like an ink pen where you can create your brow hairs sort of manipulate them like so and I really like this product but you can also go like overboard like see how that just got really dark <laughs> So like look at the difference between this eye and this eye. It's insane. Okay, so I'm gonna go do my other brow and then I will be right back. Um, so my makeup's all done. I will link all the products that I used down below. I should really take these clips up too. I need to bring these. I have to still pack. Look, I am running so behind. And to be completely honest, you guys, like I'm Okay, with taking my time because whenever, like, 90% of my life, like, I am rushing to do everything. So, um, it is nice sometimes to take my time, but, um, you know, not everybody wants to wait for me. <laughs> okay, so this is my look all done. I'm gonna link everything that I used in, um, this video, like, to create this look down below. I have been using, like, a couple new products and stuff, so maybe I'll do, like, an updated one, but I really just wanted to show you guys my brows, even though they look insane. I really don't like how heavy they look in the front. I'm gonna be showing you guys my new ring. So I did film a little bit of the footage of when I picked up my ring at Cartier um, a couple days ago. It's been a few days. I've been wanting to unbox it for you guys because um, I always get questions about like my jewelry and stuff and I have a couple of videos all about the jewelry that I've been, you know, loving and I always try to kind of update you guys. So I actually have one from my grandma that I wear all the time that was passed down to me. Um, this is actually the mini size and um, I layer my like pave diamond ring on top. Nonetheless, Cartier is a very big investment. Um, I'm not like trying to like brag or anything. In that regard um, I just did I I did share on my Instagram stories that I was at Cartier and a lot of you were like doing unboxing so this is just how it is um, so I picked up a ring this is the box I'm not gonna take a million years receipt comes with it um, the girl that works there I'm really good friend like I I know her really well now and she gave me like um, a cleaning kit so this is um oh actually this is my certificate Ooh. Oops. so this is my little Cartier certificate and then this is actually the cleaning kit that also comes very like luxurious but um, I've been needing to get a clean kit so I can clean my rings so this is the um, box that comes in all wrapped you can either like wear it out but um, it's like sealed with the wax just like back in the day um so it comes like this take it out here i'll try to so this is the ring um so i did get the original size this is much heavier these are all 14k gold um Cartier is expensive because it's all solid gold, which a lot of jewelry will be gold filled or gold plated. Um, 
stuff like that, which is why it's more affordable. But gold, gold is an investment piece and it does go up in price like as time goes on because it is solid gold. It increases as time goes on. So it's definitely something that you can consider. Nonetheless, like it's not something that you just want to like go and decide and buy one day. It's expensive. Okay, so um, I did get it in the thicker size, which I'll compare the two so you guys can see. But this is my ring. Okay, um, this is just like the original size. I have the little one, which I also love. This is much like worn in, as you can see, like this ring. It's like so majorly scratched, but that's just, you know, what happens with these rings. I really love these rings but uh yeah that's pretty much it have to go i am literally gonna be stuck in traffic for like three hours probably um but yeah so um i will keep you guys updated and yeah hey guys i am currently stuck in traffic like we knew i would be um by the way excuse this front part of my brow it decided to just like walk off my face like on the car now it just looks like a terrible eyebrow i know it's like a little maybe i'll just get you guys up here since i'm not um so i'm stuck in traffic on the five i'm like what is it bubba Hungry? Okay. I can get it for you now that we're in 